How do you get the other person out of the house while going through a divorce? In Massachusetts, if you're going through a divorce, we have something called a motion to vacate and you can get a vacate order. So this is similar to a restraining order, except you don't need to show abuse. So to get a restraining order, you need to show physical harm or the fear of immediate physical harm. For a vacate order, you basically just have to show that basically that it's a bad situation and it's not good for you or for your children if you have them. And there was a case recently that came out. It wasn't a Supreme Court. I believe it was just a one judge opinion, but it was a situation where the dad in this case was just talking bad about mom to the child, talking to the child about divorce. And before this case came out, that was something that we looked for it to be a much more serious, like on the verge of physical harm, but a little bit less, but just words wasn't gonna do it. You know, maybe substance abuse or alcoholism, but not just words. And this was the first case that recognized how damaging emotionally that type of situation can be both for the other parent as well as the children. They said that the vacate order was allowed because of the fact that that was against their welfare. So in Massachusetts, we have that route if it's going through a divorce and it doesn't rise to the level of a restraining order. Um, the other thing you can ask for is sole use and occupancy. You know, you can say that you want the rights to the house with a motion to vacate. If you get a vacate order, it is a protective order. So it kicks them out of the house for up to 90 days. If they come back to the house, they get arrested and it's on a criminal charge. With just agreeing, and this might be if you are going up against a vacate order and you think it might be allowed, you might wanna just back off and give the other side sole use and occupancy because then if for some reason you have to go pick your kids up there, you can do that without potentially getting arrested because if it's violated for any reason or if there's an allegation of a violation, it's a civil move in family court rather than a criminal move in district court. But if there's not any of those things, it's just a bad situation because the relationship isn't working and you just guys can't stand each other anymore. That's usually not gonna be enough unless one person agrees to leave.